So I've been experimenting with these uh, candescent presets. And so I was just going to show kind of my process um, when using these. And I'm using um, all these tools too. So I'll, we'll explore that. Um, so I don't think I've, I'm not sure. No, the original image was like, you know, really way underexposed, but I was also shooting sunsets like that. So just trying to preserve the sky. Um, so very dark. So what I did actually was I went up on the exposure and then I applied, let me just go down the history. Um, so that's the original. I went up on the exposure and then I tried candescent too, way too warm. And so I tried nine and it lifted up those in their faces and stuff. So uh, applied that and I'm just going to kind of show what these do, like I'm not going to use any of these color pops, um, deep in contrast, contrast often might be good, it's lifting some of that black, don't want extra creamy, it's already, um, I do like extra depth, that's a nice one. Lift shadows, no, that's too washed out. I like lights hard. It, um, it kind of does the same thing as my, I have an action, a Photoshop action called a little brighter. And it kind of just like lifts the highlights, but not so much that it's blowing anything out. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got skin lighten and skin darken. Darkens, um, or oranges. So um, I'm going to put it into Photoshop and the reason why I'm putting it into Photoshop at this point is because it's really light here and I don't want it any brighter than that and but we're still really dark here so I've got kind of this balance going on and I need to even this out and I can do this with brushes and Lightroom I'm sure. Um, I don't like using Lightroom for brush work. It, gets on my nerves and it's it just feels clunky to me so I don't use Lightroom for that so I'm gonna press Control E or command E if you're on a Mac to put it into Photoshop okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna run my um, a little brighter action and just see what that does. I'll probably run denoise because there's a lot of noise on his face. I mean I like that but I don't like what it made his face like super red so I'm gonna just paint it off. And I'm gonna press Control E to merge. And now I'm going to paint on brightness. And I press X to switch in between um, black and white. So when you're using your mask, you can like take away and add and stuff with the click of a button. So I'm going to make them brighter. And I'm being careful to avoid um, like this, this part of her face, because I don't want to make that too bright. I don't want to like look like it's blown out right here because I'm trying to kind of make it even. But I am going to do her hair a little bit on this side. And I'm going to do the front of the dress. And this dress actually was originally like ro like dusty rose colored. So I need to fix it and make it the color that it's supposed to be. Because it looks burnt orange now because of the preset. Which is kind of annoying. I've had to fix like all of the pictures in this gallery, but 
whatever. Okay, so I've painted on some brightness there. Maybe I'll take my opacity down to about 50 and paint some on her face and her chest. Because I don't want to make her skin, I don't want to make her look washed out like she hasn't been outside. But, okay, so control E to merge. And then next thing I'm going to do is paint on darkness. Is this grass is like so bright. Oh, my opacity was still at 50%, but that's okay because I want the corners and the edges to be darker than like around them. I'm just kind of trying to frame them. So I'm going to go up on the opacity of the actual layer and just kind of darken it. That's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to run an action that I have never given out before, but I've been using it a lot. It's called Less Orange, and it kind of cools the image off. It just takes the orange away, but I don't want to take the orange away from the grass. Um, so I'm going to paint that orange back on. But it took the orange away from his face is still like super orange, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. And actually I'm gonna paint orange back onto her. Like their skin is looking a little gray. Except for his face. <laughs> so I'm gonna run my reduce red cast action and see what that does. I mean it's better. It's better. Some people are just, you know, red. Okay, so I, this looks kind of, I don't know, like cool or something. So I'm going to merge those layers and I'm going to warm it up. And I'm probably going to paint it off of her dress. And here in a second, I'll show you how I changed that dress back to its, close to its original color. Okay. Not here. Get all of the dress, okay. Oh yeah, that's much better, much warmer. I'll turn it down a tad and see how I like that. Okay. Merge that. And now I'm going to start a new adjustment layer. So what I'm gonna do, go here to adjustments and then right here to hue saturation and I'm going to select this little hand pointy icon tool and I'm going to put the dropper on a part of her dress so that selected reds for me and I'm going to move my slider over to the left make it pink I'm going to turn the saturation down a tad and that's pretty much that's pretty similar and turn up the lightness a tad that's pretty similar to the actual color of the dress, but obviously it changed like the rest of them and I don't want that. So I'm going to click on my mask right here, scroll down and um, press invert. And now what I can do is use my paintbrush tool with a white brush, 100% and paint on that pink. So I'm gonna start off by just painting like using a big brush and painting um, broad areas. And I'm gonna make it smaller and do the edges. Be 
being careful not to make their skin magenta. And what you could even do is, um, I forget how to do this because I don't ever do it, but you can um, make it to where it's red, where your mask is applied. Yeah, I never do it, so I don't really remember how, but um, I think I, you can, it's like a key you can press, but I don't remember. Maybe it's M? Nope, that's not it. I don't know. Sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm going to keep painting. Make sure I got all my edges. Okay. I'm going to press a little eyeball so you can see how much it changed. And it doesn't really matter that much, like, you know, the picture looks fine if the dress is kind of burnt orange like that, but she liked the color of this dress, so I'm going to make it the original color. Okay. And I feel like maybe her hair could use a little bit brightening up. That could be darker right there. Um, I'm actually going to run my deeper blacks action. And paint it on the corners. It's going to warm it. It's going to like make it really contrasty and kind of warm it up. I might do it to her hair. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I like that. But I am going to turn down the opacity of the brush and paint it on her dress right here and his jeans. And it creates some depth. Uh, maybe I'll do it like here too. Like in the folds of her dress and stuff. maybe in between them. I'm just like kind of light painting, making um, kind of accentuating the shadows. And sometimes what I do is I'll even, I'll run deeper blacks and then I will invert it. So it applies to the whole image, and then just take it down super low. So it just gives it a little bit of depth all over. Um, I'm not going to do that to this one because I, you know, literally just did, like painted on a lot of the image. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to brighten up her hair a little bit. So I'm going to paint on brightness again, and. I'm like creating um, highlights on the tips of these curls. You know, maybe I'll brighten up his face right here. Uh, not his ear. Maybe his neck. I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> turn down my brush opacity and brighten up. Brighten up like the things that are coming towards you more. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Oh, it goes pretty good. So, that's the difference. Yeah. When you do it back and forth like that, it seems kind of like a lot. I'm going to turn that opacity down to about 33. Yeah, that's a little, that's less, less harsh. Oh, I just, 
I hate that notifications pop up and I click them on accident all the time. I feel like this, like there's a lot of brightness going on in her hair and it's not coming from anywhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an overlay. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see what it looks like. If it looks bad, then I'll delete it. Um, so here's my overlay. I'm going to change the um, mode, layer mode to screen. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna make it bigger. So Control T to transform. I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. Zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna just add some like sun rays in here. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to mask this. So here's my little mask button. Mask it. Um, I'm gonna paint it off of her face. I just, I don't want a bunch of, you know, light rays on her face if they don't have to be there. So, there's that. Oh, let me turn my opacity up. Okay. So it's just coming in a little bit. And actually, I'm going to add um, this one. This is one of my favorites that I use all the time. So, um, and I'm actually, I'm going to make this bigger too. Screen. Okay, I'm going to just put that in the corner. It, it, it just gives it like some extra color. I'm going to kind of put it right there. Let's see how that looks. Um, I'm going to turn the opacity down on this a little bit. It's a little much. Now this image looks super warm. That's a lot. I'm going to turn this opacity down too. There we go. This looks really warm. To, this is like warm for my tastes. Maybe it just looks that way on my screen. I just feel like their faces are a little warm, but maybe if I did my less orange action. and invert that and I'll paint it off of like her chin right here is just really warm do that yeah here we go his face would be less orange cool and maybe the dress let's take the oranges out of the dress too yeah I like that by running some of the actions I did after I made the dress pink again, it kind of made it go back to an orangey color. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. So I mean, she's still a little like bright right here, but it's so dark over here. So I'm just not, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. I have to eventually come to a point in all my photos where I'm like, mm, you know, and you know what? His shirt is really blue and I don't think it was that blue in real life. So I'm going to change it back to more turquoise. So, okay. Again, adjustments, hue, saturation, and then I selected my little hand tool and it, so I'm going to put the dropper on the blue and make do the hue slider over a bit. There we go. That's more true to what the actual color was. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to press, uh, click on the mask, invert that, and just paint it on his shirt. Yeah, that's that's what color it was, and I think the turquoise looks good with the um, with the pink. I mean, blue does. Whoa, whoa, blue does too. But you know, that's what color it was in real life. So, and that's that can be really important, especially if you're doing weddings. Like the color of the bridesmaids' dresses is so important. You know, like the bride picked those dresses because she liked the color. She doesn't want to get her photos back, and it's like a totally different color. <laughs> okay. And 
I'm just going to fix this little spot right here that's super blue. Okay, there we go. And I could even, I could even turn the opacity of my brush down and then make his jeans like not so blue, but I think it's fine. Um, so there you have it. I think I'm done with this. I'm going to shift control E to merge and then control S to save it back into Lightroom. And then it'll pop up in Lightroom eventually. Photoshop and after Photoshop.